there. Welcome to the moment of grace. Today, I want you to know that blessing confers dominion. And I'm going to be reading to you from the book of Genesis and chapter 1 from verse 27. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him, male and female created he them. Verse 28, and God blessed them. And God said unto them, be fruitful and multiply. Replenish the earth and subdue it. And have dominion. You see, God understands the presence of rebellion in the earth where we live. And the presence of rebellion necessitates dominion. When Satan was cast down, God knew the part of what Satan would come to the heart with is rebellion. God knew Satan would love to initiate rebellion on the earth. Because one of the major ambition of Satan at his fall, according to Isaiah and chapter 14 and verse 12 and 13, was for him to sit upon the stars of God. He said, how thou art fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning, how thou art cut down to the ground, who did weaken the nation? For you have said in your heart, I will ascend unto heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. So Satan has problem with the stars of God. And you know, according to Genesis chapter 15 and verse 5, we are God's stars, even as the seed of Abraham. And of course, Jesus himself, our boss, our master, said, I am the offspring of Jesse, the root of David. I am the bright and the morning star. Jesus himself is the bright and the morning star. And if Jesus being the bright and morning star, and we being his disciples, his followers, as the Father has sent him, so he has sent us. So we are stars. And being seed of Abraham, we are stars also. And you know what Satan does is he hates the stars of God. According to Isaiah, he wants to exalt himself above us. That means he wants to exalt himself above us. And so therefore, he comes with opposition called the gates of hell against our moves, against your career, against your health, against your home. And you know, being in dominion means whatsoever gets Satan brings against you, you won't only subdue them, you will also possess them because blessing puts you in charge of the gates of the enemies. Genesis and chapter 22, God has this to say concerning the blessing. In verse 16, and God said, by myself have I son, this was after he had tried our father Abraham and Abraham has passed the test on Abia. Because you've, you've done this thing and you've not withheld your son, your holy son, just the same way he wouldn't withhold his only begotten son to us. That in blessing it will bless thee and in multiply will multiply your seed as the stars of heaven. Did you see the word stars there? And as the sun which is upon the seashore and your seed shall possess the gate of his enemies. So blessing confers dominion to possess the gate of the enemy by all means on you. You don't don't need negotiation. You don't need to be talking and they hate me. They don't like me. And they, they are against me in my place of work. Oh, in my husband's house, they are against me. Oh, in my wife's house, they don't like me. No, no. You possess the gate of the enemy. You need to be conscious of this dominion and work in the reality of it. Blessing is our platform of doing so. When you apply for the job, for the contract, when you apply for the promotion and the gate seems locked, you apply for the paper, the gate seems locked. You apply for them to make you a permanent staff, the gate seems locked. Don't give up. Don't cave in. Dominion is on you by the blessing. And you need to keep saying it and keep saying it. Part of your dominion is your ability to get what you are being denied. To take over where you are being resisted. And to be king and lord where you are being rejected. Jesus didn't become king of kings by popular opinion. He didn't become the lord of lords by election. He became so by dominion. Because the blessing is on the sea of Abraham. Abraham, I pray for you today. The blessing of God will walk in your life against opposition. Where you've been rejected, here you will reign. Where you've been refused, there you will dominate. You will possess the gate of those that hate you and the enemies. And in the land where they said no to you, there you will prosper. In Jesus' mighty name, I also pray for sickness in your body to vanish. The disease to give way. In the mighty name of Jesus, that the hand of God will rest upon you and bring about healing in your body from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. In Jesus' precious name. 
name. My name is Inka Kitori and I pastor at Adam Church. And I want to invite you for Wonders Night this week Friday between 7 and 10 p.m. 312 to 2 and Fallon Road and him being wealthy place. And I trust God that your coming will be the turning point you've been waiting for all the days of your life. Till I see you there, God bless you.